As you guys know, we have helped thousands of people start making money with their Cricut machine. I have a free webinar down below that you can register for that thousands of people have taken and seriously have so many breakthroughs about getting started selling your crafts. But in today's video, what I've wanted to do is put together not just one, not five, not 10, 20 different Cricut projects that can make you money guaranteed. These are the ones that are top sellers on Etsy. These are ones we've seen sell really well in many different local markets. So what I wanna let you know today is that you can pick a variety of these if you have no idea what you want to make and sell to get started. Use this as inspiration to help you decide what you want to make and sell. Maybe you're already selling some of these and this will help you decide to go all in on those products. The difference between a successful seller and someone that is not able to get sells is the belief in themselves and their craft. So I want you to really hone in on that as we go into the different projects. I want you to think, what can you make that is super successful, that is great quality, and that you can truly serve your local market, you can serve on Etsy and really stand out. Ask yourself that question as we go through all 20 of these and see which one really resonates with you. Are you guys ready to get started? If you're new around here, hit the subscribe button for all things Cricut and go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. Let's kick off with t-shirts. Now, from our research, we're finding that on Etsy, these are going for anywhere from $25 to $35. This is quite a range, and I wanna let you guys know, complexity and uniqueness will definitely put you in the more um, higher end range of this project. People constantly ask, Tanner, how in the world are people making money selling t-shirts for $10 to $12? Here's the secret no one has let you know about, my friend, they're not. There's no way they're actually making a profit. They may be able to pay very bare bone expenses, but you're not really creating a profit if you're only selling your t-shirt for 10 to $12. So definitely reconsider that number one, if you have not thought about raising your t-shirt price, but be sure to consider that and know that t-shirts is something that people are always going to want to purchase. There's always gonna be a market for t-shirts. And again, think about who you're making the t-shirt for. Think of that ideal customer when you are looking at your designs. There's over 10,000 plus different designs you can choose from, from Makers Gonna Learn, and you can see which one is gonna work for you when you are making and selling your crafts. I love t-shirts, they're actually really, really fun, and this is something you can get really good at, being able to batch and being able to make a lot of really quickly. Next up, baby onesies. One of my favorite things about this niche is that people are constantly looking for unique ways to celebrate their baby. Think of all the different milestones a baby goes through in their first year of life, whether it is a onesie to come home from the hospital, whether it's their first birthday, anything like that, you're going to find that there are people always hungry for baby onesies. The cool part about these is that they have a really nice price point, anywhere from 10 to $15, but here's the thing they don't require a lot of material because they're smaller these are really fun if you could find some sublimation friendly ones so that there's no way any type of material is going to irritate the baby or anything like that we've also found screen printing works really well for these um, and there's a, quite a few uh, different ways that you can make these awesome types of baby onesies and this would be really fun for you to try out in your shop they also coordinate really well with something like a t-shirt Right here is a tea towel. Now, a lot of different tea towels come in a variety of ideas. I wanna invite you to not just put a very basic design on a tea towel. I think a lot of us, when we're wanting to sell our crafts, are focused on volume. And for some reason, I see people constantly getting a really, really basic design and just slapping it on a tea towel and trying to sell it. I wanna invite you to create something more exclusive, something that people actually want. I want you to focus on the quality and less about the volume and more about the quality. Do you see what I'm saying? This is a really great example because this is something custom. So we're seeing that custom ones can go for up to 15 or more dollars. So I wanna invite you to create something like this because this would be great for a housewarming gift. This would be great for someone to include in their kitchen that has their last name on it. And it would be really, really good for you to offer that so that you can be the place that people wanna to go to when they're looking for new pieces to add to their home. 
This is a family recipe board and I want to share with you guys that this is such a fun offering for you to give your customers. This is something that you're going to take a family recipe, you're gonna do a little bit of design skill work, and you're going to create it and put it on a beautiful board. Now, when we start talking about doing extra work, working with custom items, guess what that does? The price goes up. So you wanna include that in your pricing. This could go for anywhere from $35 to $45 to have a custom recipe board from our research. And I think you'll be really pleasantly surprised about how grateful your customers will be to have you partner with them to create something this exclusive for them to give as gifts um, or just for them to have in their own home home decor. You could even sell a custom tea towel to go with the recipe board if you would. It's really fun to pair different types of projects together to get the order value up. Have you ever thought about using a glass cutting board? This is so cool. Now this one's sublimated, but you can add vinyl and a lot of different things to a glass cutting board for use with your Cricut. And these go for anywhere from 20 to $35. And I love them. These are so fun. They're so easy to use. And I think you'll find a lot of success being able to use this inside your Etsy shop when you're selling or anything like that. This one right here can go for up to $80 to $90, but for this size, we would recommend anywhere from 20 to $45. And this is what we call an acrylic sign. It's very simple, it's super, super awesome, and we love them. We use plexiglass, we add standoffs, and we give them to the customer to create and to be able to add to a wall. And these are awesome, y'all. Very, very simple. Again, we have training on this here on the channel. They're amazing. This is for a newborn, which is super, super fun, but you could do this in many different ways. I know so many people who do acrylic wedding signs and they can charge upwards of hundreds of dollars to create a few of them to include at a wedding. And it just makes it look even more elegant. It looks way more put together. And that could be one of your entire businesses is doing this for weddings, parties, and events. Definitely think about that because here's the deal. The type of work required for this is pretty minimal. The cricket is go do the heavy lifting. You get to be more of a designer and you're going to specialize in the acrylic. So you're going to get the acrylic or the plexiglass, anything like that to create these signs. And they're going to give you a great profit margin. If you haven't thought about it, definitely check it out. Have you ever thought about offering nursery decor? This is something you could do in a variety of different ways, whether you're wanting to do something more custom, where you're including their name or something like that, or you could just offer some really adorable nursery decor that would fit many different room designs like this one right here. This can go for anywhere from 20 to $45, and I love, love, love the look of this. And this helps the parent be able to decorate their room even easier. I love when I can help my sellers understand that you are wanting to focus on serving your customer. So if you can create decor that would help them finish decorating their kid's room, have it feel more homey and things like that, this this is a big win for you to stay focused on that end result rather than honing in on, oh my gosh, are my crafts really that good enough? Because chances are, if you've been a member of Makers Gonna Learn, if you've been a friend of the YouTube channel, you already have a lot of cricket and design skill that you just are underutilizing. Bridesmaids gifts like this are hot. Funny story, Courtney quickly went ahead and got something similar to this um, the day or two before our wedding, and I thought she was ridiculous. But guess what? Almost everyone in our bridal party are still using their cups <laughs> from our wedding, which I think is hilarious um, because I gave Courtney so much grief for doing it and I had no idea it's so popular. Well, come to find out, um, a lot of people love these. So I wanna invite you to offer packs of these. And what's super cool is guess what? No one's just gonna order one of these, y'all. People have three to six plus people in a bridal party which is so awesome. So you're gonna be able to repeat this and order in bulk and have a lot of volume with these, which is super, super fun because you're serving one customer. So again, bridesmaid gifts, groomsmen gifts, things like that with these type of tumblers would be really, really cool. Um, they're really simple. And again, you know, they are custom with the names. So those price points would go a little up a little bit because you're doing the extra work of making something custom.
Have you ever thought you can make 70 to $100 with mints? Y'all, wedding favors are so fun. And guess what? Yet again, the Cricut and your printer is going to do the heavy lifting for you. Your job would simply be connecting these to the actual mint packet, which is actually really fun to do while watching a Netflix show. And these sell for really, really well on Etsy. If you've never thought about it, do a little market research and you'll find that these go for different types of packs, different price points, but I think these would be really great for you guys that are wanting to serve the wedding and bridal niche. This is a banner and this one's a birthday banner, but think of all the different banners that you could offer in a shop. Think of all the banners you could make for your customers and clients. These are really, really fun and super handy to have. These could go from anywhere to 10 to $20 for a birthday banner like this one. Obviously, if you go bigger, if you go larger, the price also goes up. So think about that when you're designing your banners and you're going to offer this. One thing I love about a banner is that they actually ship really, really well. It's very affordable to ship, it's very easy, and the work is fairly minimal. It's mainly about the designing and then more about the cutting and making sure your cut lines are crisp, that it can feed onto your rope or string or anything like that or ribbon really, really well. And then you support your customer by giving them a way of hanging it. So that could look like um, adding some type of command strips and hooks and things like that so that your customer has everything they need to apply and hang the banner the day of their party. Can we talk about how cake toppers are probably the most underrated product that you could sell right now? These go from anywhere from $15 to $25. And the reason why everyone at Makers Gonna Learn is obsessed with cake toppers is because you can take a basic, very, very basic cake, a white cake, and add a cake topper, and it looks so custom. If you are needing to have a birthday party really quickly, here's what you need to do. You need to tell your customer, go buy a very basic cake order a cake topper and it's going to elevate the entire birthday party and it can fit so many different niches and different types of color schemes with a basic cake but having a unique cake topper again the supplies to create something like this is only a few dollars you can build these really really well using foam adhesive atg two-way glue pins things like that and then you just add a skewer to the bottom so that you can put it right into your cake and it's very food safe if you haven't thought about making cake toppers i highly recommend it have you ever thought about creating some very visually appealing and aesthetically pleasing labels? This would be really fun to offer um, a pantry set, um, a dish soap set, all sorts of different sets. You would include 15 to 20 different labels and they would sell for almost over a dollar per label, which would be super, super fun. And you could get that order value up to $20 very easily if you offer 20 different labels in a variety pack that has the same aesthetic and things like that. We taught a video on how to actually make labels. So if you're interested, check it out on the channel and then you'll be able to start selling these really, really well. And remember that if you're a Makers Gonna Learn member, anytime that you're an active member, you have a commercial use license. So you can use our cut files, our fonts, to actually make money using your Cricut machine, total legal for up to 500 of the same item. So for example, you could sell up to 500 labels completely legally um, of this one design, which is super, super fun. So definitely check out our membership if you haven't, if you need help getting um, commercial licensing with all of your fonts and your cut files. Cardi cows are super popular to make with your Cricut machine, so I think you would really enjoy being able to sell these. Whether it's a print and cut one, or you're just cutting vinyl and giving them everything they need to apply it to their car, you're gonna find a lot of success for this when they're especially priced anywhere from five to 10 to $15. They're again, really easy to ship, and I really, really like offering these to people just starting out because they are some things that people will love to have and kind of keep you front of mind because they'll remember where they got their car decal from. Here's the secret about selling stickers. The money is not in selling one sticker. The money is actually selling in bulk, creating a variety of different stickers and selling them in a big value pack or anything like that, because that is going to raise the average order value of your customer, is go raise that up, and then you are gonna be able to sell 
many different stickers to one customer. Instead of trying to sell each sticker at two or three dollars, you're now getting a pack of stickers and selling them at twenty dollars. And notice what we've done here is we've took cut files and turned them into stickers but they all kind of work together. They all are part of one aesthetic. So they can be planner stickers, they can be organizational stickers. There's all sorts of different stickers and the sticker community is huge. You will absolutely love making stickers. And I find that once people start and they get popular selling stickers, they go all in on making stickers. It's actually very affordable to make and sell stickers. So if you haven't thought about it, definitely think about it and it's a super fun niche. People are obsessed with their dog and they want to show it off. Have you ever thought about making personalized dog products? This is super, super fun. This is a project that we actually made with my dog Penny on here and their socks. These are super, super fun. And I have seen on Etsy a lot of different dog themed products that you could actually make and sell with your Cricut um, very easily but people will go crazy over it, whether it is their exact dog breed, or you have ways that you could take a picture of their dog's face and put it on different types of merchandise. Really great ideas for you guys to, again, have a theme over your entire store so that people clearly know what you do and who you serve. Tumblers are all the rage right now, and these go from anywhere from 20 to $55 for one tumbler. So that means you can spend a lot of time working on one tumbler guilt-free. People love making tumblers, but guess what? We can only have so many tumblers at our home, right? The best way that you can continually make tumblers is actually sell them. So this right here is one that could easily go right in the middle around $30, $35. And this is a really fun tutorial. It's a cat scratch tumbler. We used epoxy, we used glitter and the cat scratch. It's something we have on the channel from I think summer of 2022. So definitely do some searching. You'll find it here on the YouTube channel. All of these are makers learn files and you will love this technique. There's so many techniques, whether you're doing the Dawn power wash, you're making, making basic epoxy tumblers and so much more. I think you'll really enjoy it. Keychains are something small and really easy to sell. Again, this is something you'll be able to ship really easily. So I love offering for people just starting out on Etsy, lightweight, easy to ship items. So it's less overwhelming for you to just simply get started shipping. Once you start shipping, you'll find out there is no drama. There's no reason to be overwhelmed by it because it's a simple process based on the size that you're shipping, the weight of your shipment and where it's going. It's really a simple calculation. So that's why I like to invite people to possibly sell keychains as a starting point because there's no way to really mess it up. It's super small, it's super lightweight and not very expensive at all to ship. And remember your customer in many cases are going to pay for their own shipping. So you have nothing to lose. You're gonna be able to measure this, um, weigh it and then calculate the shipping for any state or country that you are wanting to ship to. I love offering badge reels because guess what? The community that would purchase these are wide. Whether you're making nurse specific ones, teacher specific ones, and all sorts of different other providers that use badge reels, this is a fun niche that can go from anywhere from $15 to $20 for a custom badge reel that is something super unique that they couldn't find anywhere else. We've seen people do donuts. We've seen people use all sorts of different um, charms on here to make some really fun ones that you could sell to a lot of different types of providers like teachers or nurses. Ornaments are a really fun thing to sell and we even love offering you um, some type of boxes to display and provide for your ornaments. You can offer even gift wrap, which would be a little upsell for them so that you would actually gift wrap it for them. So when they get it, it's ready for them to go ahead and gift. It's a super great way to kind of add some more value and make a little extra money per ornament. There's a lot of different ornaments you can sell and especially starting as early as July, because people are gonna start thinking about giving ornaments as gifts, as well as decorating their own home for Christmas. So definitely think about adding some ornaments to your shop this year so that you'll be ready for the big holiday season. We saved the best for last, and this right here is a large door hanger. And the reason I love these is because if you make them well, design them well, build them well, and you work really hard, you can sell these for 50 to $60. This is huge. This one's for a teacher 
and it's awesome. And this is something that is a lot larger, so you need to have some experience with shipping, you need to do your due diligence, but you'll be able to make and sell these. All in cost on this should be nowhere more than $15. So the rest you're able to pay yourself for your time, energy, and effort, and then have the leftover for your actual profit. And my friends, this has been 20 different items that you can make and sell that are guaranteed to create you a end result that is profitable. You wanna make sure that you are constantly looking at your pricing, that you are not just breaking even, you are making a profit. And if you need help with that, I wanna invite you to check out my free webinar. It's right down below and it's every Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern. It's going to break down the five secrets to making money crafting, even if you haven't sold before. I can't not wait to have you there. We've had thousands of different people come to it, and I think you're gonna really enjoy it as well. So definitely check that out down below. I cannot wait to see what you start making and selling. If you're already a Cricut seller, go ahead down below, drop me a comment and tell me what is your most popular item that you make and sell. I cannot wait to hear from you, my friend. And if you need even more help learning how to go full time with your Cricut journey, go ahead and check out this video. If I had to start over today, this is the exact breakdown of what I would do to go full time with my cricketing. I cannot wait for you to check that video out, my friends, and I'll see you back around here really soon.